Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6 of my SBL career mode. Last episode, I ended up drawing with Man City, drawing with Everton, losing to QPR, and beating Spurs. So, all together, it was a pretty decent episode, leading us, leaving us in 13th place. 10 games played, 3 wins, 3 draws, 4 losses, 11 goals scored, 11 goals conceded, and sitting on 12 points. And obviously, this is a simulated career mode, so I'm not playing any of the games. And, um,. We'll just look at the calendar. The games we're going to be playing is today is West Ham, Southampton, Burnley, and maybe the Crystal Palace game. So yeah, let's begin. First game is straight into the first game, and we're going to actually stay with the same team that just beat Spurs to go away to West Ham. So let's go. They're actually... They just lost to Stoke 2-1 West Ham, but they beat Man City 2-1 just before that. So this could be quite hard. Away from home when you simulate is always hard, but Benteke has scored and also missed the penalty. Winston Reid's been injured, got injured, but obviously he stays on the pitch. 40 minutes in, we're 1-0 up, half time, Vyman comes on for Gill. Gill, that always seems to happen, I don't know why. Even if he's had a good game, Vlad's been booked, didn't see that. 70 minutes gone, Nolan's come on, Demel's gone on, 10 minutes left, can we hold on, please? Balassi makes it 2, get in, Balassi and Benteke. Blassi's actually been getting in the goals lately. He scored against Spurs at the end of last episode. He's just scored um, against West Ham again. Boss, when I signed my contract with the club, you made me certain promises with regards to my role here, but I do not feel that currently you are fulfilling those. Ooh. To be honest though, I did sign him to be a, um, a young prospect, obviously, but I just don't think he's good. Good enough yet, so we're not going to actually play him. We're going to keep on playing Guzan. People always say don't ever change a winning side, so I think that's what we're actually going to do. We're going to stick with the side which has won our last two games. At home to Southampton. This could be good, or this could be bad. They're unbeaten in three. We're unbeaten in three. I know we're unbeaten in two, sorry. Clyde's been booked straight away. Swansea are 1-0 up against Mad City. 25 minutes gone, nothing's happened. Come on. Benteke's been really good this season. I'm not sure how much. Benteke's. Oh, I just said he's been really good. And he's missed the bloody penalty. Tadic's come on. Pelo's come on. Delph's come on for us. De Siglio's been sent off. Come on, hold on five minutes. 0 0 draw at home, Southampton. It's good, but it's not great. We need to start winning our home, team, our home games. But down 10 men, I'll take it. Manchester United. De Siglo's probably our best uh, defender, to be honest. Best player, to be honest. Because he's young and he... Oh, Matty Luke. He's young and he, he um, on career mode. I had him on a lot of career modes. Like on FIFA 13, I had him. On FIFA 14, sorry, I had him. And he improves a lot. So we were really hoping that he was going to be our best player. But he's just been sent off. So obviously, he'll miss next game. Hopefully it won't be that bad because I'm pretty sure we're against Burnley. So, yeah. Come on. Who have we got next? I'm confident that is Burnley. I'm confident that we can win that game or should win that game. Ireland want me as the national manager. Nope. What's this foul we can in France? I don't care about that. That's what I skipped the next game. Come on. Yeah, Burnley. Is it home or away? Manchester United. Away. We should win this, to be honest. What comes next in the English Premier League? Higher returns. Who plays? Ashley Westwood, he doesn't play anyway. I'm actually going to make a change for the team, though. I'm going to take out Gil for a Bonjour. And that's the only change we're going to make. Gil, to be honest, he always gets up at half time. He's not really scored a lot or done anything. So, away to Burnley. Can we get a result? And we'll, we will play the Crystal Palace game, and then we'll look at all the stats and stuff for the season. That'll be the end. So come on, Spurs are winning up. Sunderland are beating Chelsea. Ings has missed a penalty. I've seen quite a lot of this simulated that. A lot of people miss penalties, to be honest. I don't know why that is. Cleverly has put us 1 0 up. Get in. This would be a great result if we can win here. Vyman's coming for Benteke. Balassi has scored to make a 2 0. Come on. Let's record a three points here. Five minutes to go. It's a great away performance. 2 0 win at Burnley. Oh, Palace in two days. We'll go straight to the next game. Premier League. Burnley. Well, I think we'll play the same squad. Oh, we're away again. Oh, yeah, Desiglio's back now, actually. We'll put Desiglio in. 
Fourth placed West Bromwich Albion are at home to 16th. Ziggler can come back in for Matty Lowton. Let's look ahead. Guzan's gone up to 79 rating. And in the time we'll play this next game, United, and that'll be it. Away to Palace. Eric Brolassi against his old club. Been good scoring reform. Oh yeah, Delph's on the bench, can't forget about him. Benteke scored in the first 10 minutes, quality. suzoka has been booked. If we can win away here, that'd be an amazing performance. Desiglio's just been booked. If he's going to... I was about to say, if someone gets red carded again, and... Oh, 2-0 and Zugby, I didn't even see that goal, I missed it. But yeah, we are down 10 men. We seem to be winning a lot of games away, but not at home. Five minutes left. That's another great away performance, 2-0 win. So yeah, we'll check where we are in the league. We'll look at this message first, actually. Player suspended, Ali Sizoko. Ah. He goes off for Bakuna. After extra time. The Barclays. So we'll look at the stats. Nil, Newcastle United, one. Crystal Season. Nil, so we end the episode Silver, six two, in eighth one, place, six, which is not bad. We've improved. Rangers, 14 one, games, six wins, China, four draws, two, four losses. West Ham United, two. Where can we look at the oh, okay, player stats? Benteke is top goal scorer in the league with eight goals. With 29 points. Can we look at... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go back to Prem. Assists, where's our top player here? Not anyone up there. Oh, there we go, a Bonjohorn and Zogbia with two. That's not great. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Assists, clean sheets, Guzan, whoa! Guzan, eight clean sheets. Check is second with five. He's... Oh my god, I keep on backing up my accent. Bottom of the table. So we've got top goal score in Benteke, eight goals. Reading up the table, second bottom. Top clean sheet of eight as well. Let me show the cards. Burnley with nine points. Fourth bottom, Crystal. We're not up there. Most red cards. Fifth bottom. Moving down. Are yeah, we are up there. Rob Fan. There we go. So stats. So that's gonna be the end of episode six. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.